and set it to like 5,000. Yeah, it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and today it's time for a redstone video, actually. Uh, <laughs> haven't done one of these before, and uh, that's why we're here in the testing world, because I am going to make something using redstone. And what I'm going to be focusing on today is I want to build a melon and pumpkin farm, and I need to design it. So here we are, we're going to design it. And it needs to be inside of a 16 by 16 structure. So we've got 14 by 14 to play with. So let's get that marked out and start working on it. So I actually remembered that it's 16 by 16 by 15. So this is the actual area that we have to work with. And then I made up, I made up three different modules because there's a few different ideas that you can go with. So let's, let's start playing around with some ideas. Uh, one idea is, let's just get some stuff here, some redstone related stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to be needing. Yeah, this, this looks good. Um, also, we're going to need a pumpkin as a test subject and pumpkin seeds, bone meal, that sort of stuff. And you guys may have noticed in the, was it the vine video? Or one of the ones from the Mario Craft series. My nephew made a... Uh, made, 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 I'm thinking here. Uh, trying to think and do stuff at the same time. He made a farm where your pumpkin would grow. And then as soon as it would grow its pumpkin actually grow the pumpkin see pump pumpkin thing grows a pumpkin and observer that's how you spell observer would see that and output a redstone signal which would then do a piston and i'll have to remember how he did this because it's been a little while since i looked at what he did and like that, maybe? Maybe like this. I don't remember exactly. Um, so basically, it would look... No, that would that would activate. So this would activate, and that would cause a tick to happen, which would push this and get rid of it. I think that's how he did it. Let me, let me go check, and I'll be right back. Okay, instead of checking, I just went and changed the random tick speed. So now ticks happen way faster. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the way it works is that the observer grows, not the observer, wow, the plant grows, the observer sees it, uh, triggers the piston. So basically the entire thing will just keep popping them off. And if you do a melon instead, unfortunately, give me that, unfortunately it won't, well, that's not going to work. A, a piston does not break a melon into a thing. It, it, it actually will... Can't go there. <laughs> I was wondering what was taking so long. It will break it into little pieces, I believe. So, I think that's how it works. Let me, let me, let me check that out. Uh, redstone signal... Here. Yeah, see, it, it does it into pieces, so... Unfortunately, but this is an idea. So let's kind of extrapolate that out into a larger version and see How big it is and how expensive it'll be and I have extrapolated it <laughs> So we've got three modules this way four modules up and five modules Across which is 60 modules, which means you need about a stack of observers ooh, a stack of pistons and uh, two stacks of redstone dust. So it's not super expensive. And it's not bad. So if I if I take the uh, game rule. Uh, random tick. Where's the random ticks? I know I saw it in here. Random tick speed. There we go. And set it to like 5,000. 
yeah, it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> but it pushes them, and a few of them do get stuck, and... Ah, I'm going back away, it's a little noisy. But for the most part, they're gonna get pushed down, and then there'll be a water collection source at the bottom. So that... Yeah, let's, let's get rid of that. There we go. So that is idea number one. That basically, I would say this is probably the most efficient for when they grow, they uh, they immediately are going to be harvested. Not so efficient in actual getting the drops. As you can see, there's quite a few of them here. Ignore the pumpkin seeds, that's due to cloning. And I'm not sure if it's the most efficient use of resources. So let us move on to number two. This is my second idea for the farm. Uh, basically, you've just got a big old field with checkerboard, uh, pumpkin, and melon. And actually, if you do a, like a melon, a pumpkin, a melon, a pumpkin, it, it's better. Somehow it grows faster. But anyway, uh, actually, this should have been a sticky piston now that I'm looking at it. That would have made sense. Uh, but these should be sticky pistons here, and they will somehow trigger when uh, one of these grows, or just probably a daylight sensor. Uh, so let's get one of those hooked up and change these out to sticky pistons. So now that I've switched these out to sticky pistons, and you, you can see all of the pumpkins growing in there, and then we have this massive array of redstone on top. So if we have like a daylight sensor and it pops that down and then there it will harvest everything. And then we just need to collect it. And the way we would do that is, of course, this part would have to go in first because we would run out of room fairly quickly. I mean, I probably could put it in afterward, but ugh, that would get a bit... It's stressful so if we put in something like this oops we missed one here and let's just put that like that and then get some regular track for the side and actually let's get this like this so that we can Get one going. So if we get a mine cart with a hopper, and we put it in here, and then let's just use a lever. Get him going. Uh, he will collect all the stuff above it. So if we have... That's interesting. If we have this track going the whole way back and forth, and he can zigzag all the way back and forth and then go to a collection area it will pick up all of them because it picks up right about which is really cool and we would have to have I don't think we would let's see one two three four five six seven one two three four five six yeah I wouldn't want to make two of these uh, we would just maybe like raise this up or something and this has got to be room because you'd have to put a daylight sensor in or some sort of a timer I mean you could just make a basic timer that this thing fires every once in a while and then the hopper minecart will just collect everything and then go to a collection area so this is idea number two now this is what are we saying 14 by 14 and that's uh, math. I can't math right now. Um, 14 times 14. Whoa. I'll be right back. All right. 14 times 14 is 196. <laughs> and it's every other. So divide that. So would be 98. So a stack and a half of sticky pistons. Hmm. But you get 100% of the drops. However, you're not 100% efficient because... Uh, let, see, this one has grown. So... Oh, actually, look at... Oh, that's right. Only one will connect to it. But if that one grows there and 
there's one that grows here that this one does, and one that goes here, nothing will ever grow here. So it's not 100% efficient in the use of the farmland. Also, it's not efficient for the timing because, well, this thing is only going to fire every once in a while. So like this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, that one would be lost until it would fire. So, yeah, that's something to consider. So let's move on to idea number three. So the third idea I have is kind of in between. So the first one is 100% when a pumpkin or melon grows, it's harvested, but we lose some of the drops. This one, we get all of the drops, but we don't get it harvested until a timer goes off or something of that sort. So this, I want to be kind of in between. So I want to get maybe all of the drops but be a little bit more efficient than this would be and i'm trying to figure out how to do that see having them growing right next to each other so like if we had plant 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 that would not be good so offsetting like this should make it grow a little faster and i'm thinking if we put glass above it then we can put pistons above that and yeah, let's let's keep working on this and see where it goes. So I figured out that I, I thought it had to be like a glass block above or something, but you can actually have a piston right on top and they'll grow. Obviously they're growing. I mean, the ticks are at 1000, but they will grow. So this is the idea so far. Uh, the general concept is for every plant, you're gonna need a piston. And this is a waste of pistons. This is a one-to-one. -one. However, they won't all grow all the time. However, I've got it set so that when a few key ones, so one at each end and a couple in the middle will grow, that they all get harvested. So there will be a few that, okay, we're going to wait around. But on, on the whole, I think four observers for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Oh yeah, there should be 14 of these things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 14. Four observers isn't too expensive for that. So, we need to make this thing bigger though. So let's expand it out. So this is the little module, greatly expanded. And here we have uh, 14 across times 8 basically which if my math is correct is 112 so that's that's quite a few uh but it only uses what four times eight so 32 observers so that's not bad and of course we'll have to use the rail system underneath here and underneath here to make sure we get all the drops otherwise it's just going to be crazy here so it's not bad. We we can put uh, this in so that this stuff doesn't all fall through to the other layer. But yeah, I think that's that's pretty cool. So we have three different ideas. Uh, this one, 100% uh, harvest, but we lose some of the drops. This one, 100% drops, but we lose some of the harvesting area. And this one, which we get 100% of the drops, but we don't have quite the efficiency. I mean, I could add observers, but I don't really want to. Um, but this one only has, what did we say, 60 units, where this one has uh, way more. So, hmm. Also... We could just put an observer on each one and only connect it to the piston next to it. Okay, you guys are getting annoying here. <laughs> so that, I mean, is that even possible that we have an observer here? No, because it would just, it would continue to power. So I think, I think this isn't bad. This isn't a bad idea. I mean, if we really want more efficiency, add some more, more observers as long as it doesn't lag. You could add in like... You know, one here and one over here or something like that. That's not where I wanted that at all. There we go. Just add a few here and there. But that's it. So there's three different ideas. 
all of them very functional. Um, also, maybe I'll do a quick drop off. Yeah, I'll do a quick drop off tutorial so that you guys can see that. And uh, then that'll about wrap us up. So here is a very simple unloader. So you've got your minecart with your hopper and it's running back and forth, back and forth, collecting stuff. And what you want it to do is when it gets to your hoppers that are going to collect it, it will unload. So the way this works, we'll see this going, throw some of the pumpkins in there. Now, as soon as it gets to here, this starts popping the pumpkins into the hopper and the comparator sees, oh, there's something in this uh, hopper, turns off the redstone torch, allowing this to turn off, which unpowers that signal right there. So, oops, what did I just, I think I just subtracted that. Uh, so now it's emptied out, it'll keep going. So if we put more in there, it'll come back and it'll stop, see? It's powered by the torch when there's nothing in the comparator. So it's a pretty cool little system. It's not really big, but it works absolutely fine. Now you could just use this, but I find that adding the second hopper makes this 100% guaranteed that it will stop and reload or unload whenever it's filled up. So there you go. There is a hopper unloader system. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, turn on those notifications, and uh, I'm going to be building this on Main World. So check out Main World, and hopefully pretty soon you'll see one of these three being built. I'm not sure which one. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Until next time.